Welcome. Today we will compare the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk to the Lamborghini Ursus. We'll do some drag races and some track races. So let's meet our contenders. First up is the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Got a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 with 707 horsepower. Weighs 5,350 pounds, so it's big. You can do this little off-road kit to it, but we're not doing that today. Maybe later. Not today. Today is stock versus stock. Well, we got 645 foot-pounds of torque. It's a torquey bitch. But contestant two is a Lamborghini. It's a Lamborghini SUV. It's a 2019 Lamborghini Ursus. A 4 liter V8, but it's twin turbo. 641 horsepower, but it's like 500 pounds lighter at 48.50. So, maybe that balances out. We shall see. No, no special body kits on this one. You can only change the drivetrain. I'm not sure why you'd do that, but I'll let you get away with it. Alright, first up. First test. The standard quarter mile drag race. Let's hit it, boys. I'm guessing the Jeep's going to take this. I'm just going to the power. Jeep is louder. Oh yeah, he does. We got 11.5 versus 11.8 in the quarter mile. I did not beat Bartissimus 420. That's okay. Our next one is going to be the Juggernaut. So let's see how the quarter mile is different than the two mile drag race, let's just say. And we're going to do this from inside because I can't see the speedometer. And I like the interiors. Well, I do like the interior of the Lambo better. It looks like the Jeep's got an edge. What do you expect? You know, the Jeep's got more power and more torque. And at this point, it's aerodynamics, not weight. KPH, four and six. This is where the eight speed transmission versus six speed transmission kind of comes into play. Because right here, going up this hill, eight, that eighth gear is too tall on the Jeep to go up the hill, so I had to get back into seven. And I do believe we lost some speed. I don't think enough. And the Jeep takes it by three one hundredths of a second versus three tenths on the actual drag race the shorter drag race so our next competition will be the Astmore Rally Trail I did each one of those I think about three times and I took the best one of each and we start the Jeep still spins out a little bit but, or burns out Could not get that turn in the Jeep. It's just too big. It's too heavy. It's too top heavy. It's not that far behind. But the Lamborghini is a Lamborghini. It just holds the road better. It seems. Anyone who's driven a Jeep or even ridden in a Jig Jeep, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee knows they are not cornering machines. Lambo's got a definite advantage right now. But the Jeep is catching. Compare those last two checkpoints. What's going on, Lambo? Let's see how they do on the dirt. I would expect the Jeep to do better on the dirt just because it's the Jeep. But, it's also a 700 horsepower Jeep made for the road, so who knows? Right about even right now. Right 
the neck of that can. Something better. I guess I did it. Uh, just barely. I think. I think. I think. I think. Even on that one. Neither of them are really made for the dirt roads. And yes, they're SUVs, but they're road racy SUVs. They're like soccer mom SUVs where they will both hold groceries and they'll drive down the dirt trail and they'll clear the snow. But the Lambo just did something better than that. Oh man, he's way ahead. Well, let's say they're both soccer dad SUVs. Oh, the Lamo's gonna take it. I think you can use that power at the end. No, you cannot. Lamo just holds the road. 306.9 versus 307. Whole second better. Not bad. Alright, our last test will be the Moreland Super Circuit. I did about 10 laps with each car on this track, and I think I got them lined up pretty good. And I had to zoom out on this so we can see the lap times because there's no, I forgot to show the end video. I'm not going to go back and do that because yeah, no one did. So we're going to start right off, right in motion. Here we go. Lap seven was the fastest on the Jeep and lap four on the Lambo. just takes these turns so much better than that Jeep. And the Lamborghini, what you gonna do? Again, Jeeps are not known for their handling. This is a drag racing Jeep versus a Lamborghini SUV that wishes it was Mercy Lago. Definitely in them, even in the grass. Probably got better brakes as well. Again, what Lambos do. So, looks like we've got, oh, we got a one, a 117 on the Jeep and a 116 on the Lamborghini. So I will leave you, the Jeep. I just like the look of the Jeep better. Maybe it's because I'm from America and that's how I like Jeeps. I've always liked the way the Grand Cherokee looks, especially the new ones. They look very aggressive. And if I had a real one, I would not do this with it. But if I had someone else's, I would. Sorry, buddy. Rent one with jumping off a cliff and just an island somewhere. Be fun, huh? Did beat him. Bartismus 420 is my actual brother. So I beat him by 20, 20. But he does set up a mini drag race. And with that, folks, it is time to sign off. I think I'm going to do more videos like this so I can compare some.
probably in this and some other card games. I've got card games. See you later.